Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Ulta haul slash, not Ulta, what? Elf haul slash review. I just filmed another video about Ulta, so I guess I just have that on my mind. But this uh, is stuff that I bought. Elf had a 50% off site-wide day, and so I decided to purchase a few things. Some of these things I have tried, some of them I have not. I do want to do a Elf best and worst video, so I thought I would pick up some things for that. And uh, there's a lot here, so let's get into it. So I did buy two of these all over cover sticks. One of them is actually a highlight, it's in Spotlight, and then the other one is a concealer in Ivory. So let's go ahead and open these up. They're like tiny little thingamajiggers. I have absolutely no idea if these are going to be any good or anything, but I wanted to try them out, was curious. It feels like, I don't know what this texture is, it's not creamy, it like almost feels slimy, to be honest. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, when you actually start to blend it out, it feels a little bit better. So I have the highlight on one side and the concealer on the other. I have no idea if you're even going to be able to see that. Can you see it? Um, yeah, when I first put it on, it felt like kind of slimy, but now that I blended it out a little bit, it definitely looks a little bit better. I feel like the concealer is probably going to be too dark for me, but uh, we'll have to try them. The next concealer that I got is this Beautifully Bare Concealer Stick in Fair Light, and have not tried this yet. I did get a few of their concealers just to test them out to kind of see which one I liked the most. So obviously for these, it's kind of hard to tell just from swatching them if I'm going to like them or not. I feel like this one's also going to be a tad too dark for me. I have it right over here. I feel like it's going to be a tad too dark, honestly, but um, we'll try. Is this the last concealer I have? Nope. Nope. It's not. Uh, so this is it just says concealer in ivory, and I got the lightest shades of all of these in case you're curious. They don't have that great of a shade selection, so don't know, but this one's like a little sticky thingy. Whoa, that one's even darker. I have that one on the very end there. That's like orange, just straight up orange. So I uh, don't know if I'm going to like that one. That does not match me at all. Um, so I did get one of their face powders. This is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Fair Light. And I have their Flawless Finish Powder, and I really like that one. I've actually hit pan on it now. So I was curious about this one, and yeah, let's open it, if I can. Can I open it? No? Maybe? Maybe? Come haul. Ooh, so it feels really nice. Like, I can't describe this texture. It just feels nice. Like, it doesn't feel chalky or anything. I actually think this will be light enough. Like honestly, if I even try and show you this swatch, you won't be able to see it. It kind of just blended right into my skin. So um, I'm excited to try that. This looks promising. Another thing I got was this e.l.f. blush in the shade Shy. And uh, this packaging, I have a bronzer and highlighter in the same packaging and I really like the bronzer. I don't like the highlighter, but I thought I would try the blush. So why not? It looks like a really pretty shade. It's kind of pinky, obviously. Ooh, I like the texture of it. I'm running out of room to swatch things. It looks kind of illuminating almost. So I have it right over here. It looks like an illuminating blush, but it's very pretty and pigmented. So I don't know if I'm gonna like the shade. It's a little bright for my liking, but I'm obviously going to try it out. The next one I got this Complete Coverage Concealer in Light. Was this the lighter shade? Now oh, I can't remember. But um, I haven't tried this yet, and I normally don't like concealer palettes, to be honest, but I figured I would try it if I can get the thing out. So it does come with a little brush, and then this is just what the inside looks like. I'm probably going to have to test it out on its own. Oh, one of these shades looks light enough. Maybe. Yeah, this might work. We'll see. We'll try. 
The next thing I got in here was this bronzer and I got the warm bronzer since I have warm undertones in my skin. They also did have a cool toned one and it has four separate shades in here. Just looks like this. So do I want to swirl it? Do I want to do them separately? I don't know. They're definitely shimmery, which I think it did say on the website, but yeah, they're definitely on the shimmery side. I feel like I'm going to have to really test them out more. And if all else fails, eyeshadow. Wait for that siren to go past. The last face product I got was this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And I tried one of their like blemish. What is with the loud vehicles all of a sudden? I had previously tried one of their blemish ones and I thought since I have dry skin, I would like the hydrating one. So again, a lot of this have not tried. As my camera just gave up and I had to go through and figure out where it cut me off because uh, I kept talking, which shouldn't surprise anybody, but uh, I had talked about a few different things here. So let's hope I don't miss anything. Um, the first thing that I was going to talk about was this eye refresh that I have not tried yet. It um, smells really good. I just kind of put it on the back of my hand, but obviously I'm going to have to actually put it on more to try it out. Um, this next one is a flawless eyeshadow and I can't open this at the moment. It's being difficult, but when I do my best and worst video, I will update you guys on this. The next one I have really been liking and it is what I used on my eyes today. It's their Best Friend Duo in Peach Squad. And I have been using this an awful lot lately. I think it's really pretty and nice. And um, yeah, would definitely recommend. Obviously it is smaller, it's just a little duo. But if you're looking for something just easy, quick to do for your eyes, I feel like that's a great option. Another thing I got was this Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. and. I already know that I like this formula and I thought I would really like these shades. They're definitely shades that I will use on a daily basis. So I wanted to pick it up while I was half off. I did also pick up two of their mascaras. I got the Volumizing Mascara and a Mineral Infused Mascara. I previously tried an eye enhancing mascara from them and I really liked it. So I figured I would try out a few more while I was at it. Uh, see if I like them. And then moving on to lip products, I did get quite a few. Um, the first one is actually what I'm wearing today. It's one of their lip color like, crayons. And this is in Rowdy Rouge. And as you can tell, it's a bright red. So that shouldn't surprise anybody. But um, I can never quite decide if I like this formula or not. I do like how it applies because it is pointed so that makes it super easy to apply so I really like that about it um, and I like this shade it's definitely my kind of shade excuse you so the next thing is a lip balm tint and I have used this a few times now and um, I really like it I don't normally like things that you have to like dip your fingers in but if it's a really hydrating product I'll make an exception and I used this today underneath the matte lipstick and I felt like this worked really well and really inexpensive. The next one I have not tried yet, it's a lip lock pencil in clear and it says to help prevent lipstick, lip gloss and lip liner from feathering or smudging. So I was just curious if this is like a gimmicky product or if it's going to work or not. So just wanted to test it out. Uh, the next thing I have tried, it's an Aqua Beauty Radiant Gel Lip Tint in Red Orange Wash. And when I first put this on, I was like, this isn't very pigmented. And I didn't know if I liked it, but I did read the back and it says to put a thin layer on. And then allow to dry and reapply if desired for vibrant effect. So when you first put this on, it's more of like a sheer kind of color. It doesn't show up very much like you can see right there but um after you put on a few coats like you have to let this dry down you do get more of a vibrant color so um i actually think i like it i feel like i'm gonna have to test it out a little bit more but i like that idea that you can kind of build it up 
to what you want. So if you want more of just like a glossy sheer finish, you can do that. Or if you want something that's gonna be really like opaque and in your face, you can go and do that. The next one I got is a lip primer and plumper. And yeah, I didn't know if this was gonna be gimmicky or actually work, but I feel like I just picked up a lot of things that I'm like, is this gonna be gimmicky or is this going to work? I don't know. Um, the next thing is a high shine liquid lipstick and red apple and I've never tried these and I have not tried this one yet So let's go ahead and swatch it me and my red lipstick Ooh, Hello, yeah, that's a really pretty shade of red. So the applicator just looks like this just so you know So it looks like it would apply easily. It feels more um, Goopy <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's definitely a really pretty red, something that I would like. I don't know if I'm going to like the formula necessarily, but uh, yeah, we will see. I think we're down to the last thing. Are we? Are we? Yep. So now we're down to the last thing. It's the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in Red Kiss, and I feel like I hear people talk about these all the time. I've only tried it once so far and I tried it on its own. And um, since I do normally like a more opaque lipstick, didn't really like it on its own. Not that it was this thing's fault. It did feel really nice though. We'll say it's very hydrating. I have it on the very end here. So there's not much of a shade going on. I think I'm gonna have to test it out a little bit more. Like put this on top of a very drying lipstick, see if that helps. But um, it also smells good. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I can see why people like these because it felt very moisturizing and nice on my lips. But um, it doesn't have much of a color. That's like the bright red there. It doesn't have much of a shade going on. So that can either be good or bad depending on what your preferences is. Preferences is? Matt preferences are. So that is it for this video. If you guys purchased anything during this sale, let us know down below. I love e.l.f. and I love when they have these site-wide sale things going on. And um, since I am planning on doing that video of best and worst, I just kind of wanted to pick up some things. They also did release their, because they were doing different products every day for 30 days all throughout September. I almost forgot what month it was. Um, but they went ahead and released those products early. So I'm kind of eyeballing some of those and wanting to try them out. So let me know if you guys are wanting to try any of those out as well, or if you want me to test them out, cause they just came out with a bunch of stuff and it looks really interesting. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did like it. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.